Hello friends, how do you hope your points? In the previous video, you can see we done almost our project. Only one thing is remaining. Uh, save all data, okay? Because it's saving only the current data. So we need to, instead of write, here we need to append, okay? So type append. Also type append here. And okay, so it, it will concatenate, uh, concatenate all the previous data to the current data. Now I run this one and show you its work. Okay, login 1, 2, 3, 4, and date. Uh, then I click on login button, it's login, check up, patient ID. So let me on the home page. Okay, nine one zero three. Nine one zero three. P is almost seven hundred. Recommendation any type of recommendation that you wanna recommend and medicines. So I wanna recommend this medicine and the quantity is one. Okay. Also, this medicine and quantity is one. And you can save and see it generates a bill. Okay, if I want to check, open documents. Uh, in the documents, you can see project and record if I add more data okay like uh, 9 so the patient ID is 1 P is 800 recommendation is this one 29 add save okay so when I open it again record you can see uh, two records here okay this patient take two medicines you can see and this one take only one medicine so we done with this one only you can see our checkup menu is ready no, we have to work on reports okay so let me create a new form for that one okay new and jframe form name it as reports finish adjust its size and take a panel here put it here adjust to the size okay okay and properties set the background color to white okay close so here I wanna put a label because I have to put the icon properties set the text to null and now icon select yeah they wanna select the course okay close so you can see at the end you can see I have to copy some more design this one this one and this one and do see on the ports and click it here and then control V so little drag and drop it here and just it like that and for home page let me add the functionality 
you can see it's automatically copy with when I copy from this one okay so what I have to do here I have to take a text area or displaying the record of that particular patient report okay so I put it here This one is our text area. Rename it to PR or patient record. Okay. Take a button and put it here. So add the text to get record. Okay. its properties okay so open its properties and then adjust it a little bit okay make it 18 bold okay and set the color that you want i'm gonna set green color is okay with this one so here i have to uh, take a text view i'm gonna put it here adjust it like that properties 14 bold okay set the text to null okay and make it 14 bold okay so close it now take a label and put it here properties and bold okay enter id parser okay. so put it here we'll use the arm area so now it's almost done Rename the variable, okay. Change variable name and name it as ID, okay. So click on get record, okay. So when you click on this button, you will be here. But before uh, loading this one, you can see we, we need to load some records from file, okay. So I open this checkup menu. Copy this function. Uh, so reading the data, I need to copy the read data function. Okay. Simply copy this function from here. Control C. Uh, in the reports, I have to paste it here. Okay. So here I need to create an array list of type uh, all billing, sorry billing input, okay. array, this one is array list of type billing info, name it as record which is equal to new of array list, okay. And put semicolon now what we have to do we wanna read the record so I put uh, record text file name here 
and here I wanna create the object of billing info. Okay. I also want to create record of billing info so refactor it ok refactor and rename this one record ok so this is record now I want to set uh, all the properties of the card like uh, I have to split it okay so let me check that card file the format okay, in which uh, format we store that first of all we store patient id and then doctor fee and then recommendation date and then medicine okay so add zero index we have to set patient id Here, I want to remove this line and set P, and this one is at index 1. Set recommendation, and this one is at second index this index okay so after this let me check which properties uh, date okay so here i wanna put date set date okay and this one is at index The last one is the medicines okay medicine IDs so what we have to do here if you wanna display the medicine name we also wanna read the medicine list file I will do this first of all I wanna read the medicine IDs okay. so how can we do that we have to create string M list which is equal to uh, and this one is our array list uh, run data dot split okay run data so we add four index dot split and our splitter is only comma here okay not semicolon so so is this one okay and we wanna create a for loop here for in one is equal to zero and less than m list dot length minus one and i plus plus so then record dot add set medicine id Teacher dot passing and M list at current index. Okay, M list at I. So that's why uh, we can we done. Okay. So here, let me check the variable name. Okay. All the cards name it as all the cards, and here you wanna put okay all the cards. Okay, we done this one. Now it's time to display all the data, but we also wanna read the medicine. Okay, so how can we do that? can see I have to copy this function. Ctrl C, Ctrl C, 
copy this one we'll copy this array list and put it here now open your medicines and copy this function read all data function control c and in the reports we have to paste it here name it as to read our medicine data km data and one more thing we also have to do this one for patients okay because yeah, we want to also display the patient name okay? so how can we do that simply open this file and copy this array list simply copy this one and paste it here after this we need to copy one more function from here read all data so copy this one and paste it here And name it as to read all p data okay so copy all these function here read all m data read all patient data okay so the medicine one more let me check the link what's the function name so this one is for r of the card data so that's done now we have all the data here so we only want to display the data okay so how can we do that when a user click here we will be here okay and we need to create some function okay like uh, if we pass the id okay and it recommend uh, sorry it return the current patient create a patient a uh, return type and get data here we pass the id current id okay. so far int i to 0 i less than all patients dot size and i plus plus okay if all patients all patients dot get at i dot get id double equal this CID current ID what we have to do we have to return this patient okay. return our patients dot get at I here return not ok This one for patient. We need to copy this one and paste one more time for medicine. Okay. So I copy this one, and paste it here, and this one for M data. Pass ID. 
our medicines our medicines our medicine okay and convert this one into medicine that's okay if id dot get text dot equals J option and our show message message dialog okay. show message dialog null and here please enter ID else what we have to do create a bar loop okay bar in i to zero i less than all records dot size okay i plus plus if i double equal so control z all records dot get at i dot get patient ID get <coughs> so we have to convert in teacher teacher dot parsing okay id dot get text so then we have to display all the record okay if the current id world the id end by the user okay so this one is our record menu here we want to display the record let me change the variable name so right click change variable name and this one is pr pr dot append patient info PR first of all uh, PR uh, we need to get the patient okay. so patient patient which is equal to get P data and ID is our record get and i get id okay pr dot pen
so you have to paste it one two more time like uh, patient contact you may have display all the values okay get contact like that and plus this one backslash and so which medicine he wanna take okay so let me get all the medicine list so here we need to create one more part two Or in J to zero, J less than P R dot get. So all records dot get at I dot get. Medicine, okay. Dot size. So we wanna create store this one to attempt variable name. Okay. So we control X this one. Uh, array list. Of type in teachers. size and j plus plus so medicine medicine okay and temp dot so get so we need to call get m data and here we need to pass the m dot get at j so we done this one now pr dot append text okay this one is the medicine list that we take at one time p Here we want to display the medicine name of it. Medicines dot get name. That's done. At the end, we need to display PR dot pen. Add a line splitter also here. Next lesson. PR dot pen and here we need to display backslash and all recommended medicine. And put a backslash and so that's done and here we want to display the date okay the get uh, i get date okay and one more thing uh, recommendation okay so control v and what is the recommendation by the doctor? So we are the pen, and here we need to. One or more time the extension and 
here I want to put some static so done control s and now when I run this one we need to integrate sorry this page with the home page okay so click on reports and properties so in the properties what you have to do so not in the properties event mouse and mouse click simply copy this code paste it here so what we have to do which one we want to open reports ok control s and when i run this one <coughs> Let me check the patients so, 9103. This one is the medicine, okay? So you can see it's successfully getting the record of that patient, okay? So now I have to close this one and I want to open this in the middle of screen. So what I have to do? Simply Open reports, design, properties, code, sorry not, we have to open the form properties, okay. so select form and then generate resize code, generate center, click ok and close. That's done. Only one thing is remaining the earnings. Okay, like how much the doctor earned. Okay. So, what we have to do? New and JPRIM farm. Earnings and finish. So what we have to do here, we only want to display all the elements that earn by Dr. Tip. Okay. So adjust its size, properties and change the background color to white, ok, close and then take a label here properties send the text to null then select earnings so where is e to post power money ok close same like that copy this icon and these two text fields I can go to see put it here select this one and paste it here so scroll it to the left set it here Okay. So make it little smaller like this one. 
so what we have to do here we have to read all the records okay same like that in the reports we have to read all the records and then we have to get the doctor p with medicines okay so let's start first of all open your reports and then here we need to copy some functionality all medicines and our record info we need to copy and in the earning we have to paste that info and source and paste it here okay so then we need to copy these two functions okay report data and medicine data okay so copy this one from here by control C and put it here so you can see call so we can call these two functions here okay now it's time to get all the earnings so we create a function get all earnings okay. this is type integer return 0 and control s now how, how can we get all the earnings have to look through it all okay let me copy some data from here R I write okay let me write the code for i to zero and i less than all record dot size okay so make it white because we just want to display okay white and return no, okay i remove this one so in earning by p earning by p is this one let me and one uh, more in earning by medicine okay. this is zero and this one is also zero now we have to increment it like uh, let me look through all the records okay all records dot get and i dot get p earning by p plus is equal to this piece okay so this is the uh, earning by p and we also wanna check how much medicine you sell and we have to get that particular okay profit so how can we do that come here and we need to copy this this data okay control c so this will return uh, the patient okay sorry the medicine when we pass the medicine id okay So how can we do that? Let me check our record. So here I made one mistake. Let me open. So 
I and path J okay not here let me open the source and here I made one mistake let me show you for it all are okay here I remove this one so it will be okay same for this one I have to remove this minus one from here because it's not getting the last index okay So here I need to remove this one. So now it's okay. So I'm here now. I wanna get the profit from here. Okay. So how can we do do that? Okay. So in array list after I integers name the stamp which is equal to all record dot get at i dot get medicine items okay for name i to zero i less than temp dot size I plus plus so J here J here and also J here okay instead of returning the medicine we only need profit so I make it integer type and when we get this medicine okay dot get selling price minus all all medicines dot get at i dot get buying price so sell minus buy is our profit so they are losing to that zero so earning by medicine plus is equal to get let me check the function name get m data And data and here we need to pass time dot get at i so this is uh, how can we uh, get the profit okay. so here we need to create some text fields for displaying the data so I take a panel and put it here make it size like that Okay, and set the background color to white properties white ok close start label change variable name sorry edit text to earning by fee and properties make it Okay, and also bold this one uh, 36 and bold this one. Okay, change the color that you want. So, okay, close now. Duplicate this one by control D. duplicate one more time so open properties and type here net earning ok net earnings and make it green ok 
okay make it 48 little bigger than the okay done so here we need to add the text okay so we also need to change this color to this one close we need to take label here properties null 36 and bold ok by default x is 0 0 close so change this variable name ok change variable name to e v f running by v control c v so put it here change variable name e v m control c v so put it here and change variable name to and okay net earning properties make it 48 okay close so here what we have to do at the end earning by e b dot set text okay which is equal to earning by p e v m dot set text earning by medicines concatenate with this one ok net earning dot set text what we have to do earning by p plus earning by medicines so now you can see we done this one and our project is complete now when I run this software because we didn't link this earning farm with, uh, with home page so, so we need to link but when, uh, when you run this one you will see the results ok so we need to copy this function in the constructor get all earnings ok now i run this file so i think error here so i pass i saw this one is the error now when i run this file ok first of all let me adjust this one ok and I have to open in the middle of screen so properties same like that generate pack and generate center ok close now run this source file only so now you can see this one is the earning by B and earning by medicine so now I complete run this software and show you this complete working. But wait one minute, let me integrate the earning page, okay, with home page, event, mouse and mouse click. Same like this one, you need to copy, or you may write the code, copy. and paste it here so here we will simply need to copy our names ok so that's done all now I run this one and show you it's working 1 2 3 4 add the day doctor login 
so this one is our earnings 